Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, then welcome. My name's Christina and on my channel, we talk all things beauty from my own experiences. Before you go, make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video and leave any comments that you have for me down below. Today, we are going to be starting my makeup declutter and this is much needed. We are going into springtime. I love revamping, getting rid of products that I'm not touching anymore in order to make room for more products. I mean, let's be real, that's really why we're doing it. Um, I have tons and tons of products here. I'm gonna break it down into categories, just kind of what makes sense, and we will have probably a couple of these videos. I do plan on filming my entire collection, decluttering all of the different categories, so if you like this kind of content, please make sure to like this video so I know that you're looking forward to the other categories so I know to actually like edit them for you yeah this is much needed i've been kind of feeling a bit overwhelmed by like my blushes my bronzers all of my eyeshadow palettes really just everything i've started to feel overwhelmed and i've looked into my drawers and i've had it happen a couple of times where i'm like oh i forgot i had this like why don't i use it and i really regret when that happens i hate whenever i just forget a product is sitting in my drawers so we are trying to eliminate that from happening i'm going to try to be as aggressive as possible with decluttering my collection i have never been good at this i have wanted to hold on to things because most of the time these products are really really beautiful very very nice in formulation and they just have so much potential but that's just it even though they're great products i may not ever really touch them and it's just so unfortunate that's just kind of the name of the game when you do like this for a living you know what i mean all of the products that i'm getting rid of they're either going to be going to friends family or i'll be donating them if i'm able to most places will not take products that have already been open so whatever is untouched whether it be in like my pr drawers or in my actual collection then those will be donated Alrighty, without further ado we're gonna get started and i think what i want to do is start with my blush bronzer and highlight drawer that is the one that has been the most daunting for me so i figured let's start there so i'm gonna go ahead get the camera situated and we'll get started okay guys welcome these are my feet these are my pants and here are my drawers hopefully everything stays in focus i apologize in advance if it does not but we're just gonna work through this and i don't have my thumb press-ons here so please ignore that <laughs> so we have our matcha so starting off here, you guys have seen this whenever I showed you guys how my husband and I DIY'd my vanity. I showed you guys the initial organization. As you can see here, there's absolutely no organization whatsoever anymore. Everything is kind of just stacked on top of each other. Just to give you an overlay of what we're working with here, this section is going to be like our liquid cream blushes with a couple powders mixed in there. We have our potted blushes and then this little sliver. Let me move some of these. If you can tell, this sliver right here, there's an acrylic container and it holds all of my powder blushes and right next to that we have even more overflow of blushes and then it also goes into all of my bronzers so i have my cream bronzers my powder bronzers over here and on this very end just this row again another small acrylic tray holding a bunch of highlights i'm gonna try to be pretty aggressive with how much i get rid of but i say that every time and let's see if it actually happens so i guess i'll start off with the things that are just not inside the trays at the very top we have a bunch of patrick ta blushes I recently did a video on them. That is why they're at the very top. So I have all the new shades that he had launched recently, all three of the new shades. And I also own She's Blushing, which you guys know I love. And Do We Know Her is also right here. I love all of these. <laughs> I'm going to keep all of them because these three are all new and I'm still using them and I know I'm using them. That's why they're at the very top. This is the Floricist Nomad Blush. This is in the shade 13 Morning Rays. It's really beautiful and it is completely untouched. I wanted to do 
a reel or a TikTok on this, so that may still be coming, but I'm keeping that. Keeping my M Cosmetics Faded Clementine. I love this blush. This from Bare Minerals, the highlighting blush in the shade Pink Glow is actually so beautiful. I like to use this mainly as a highlight, but it does have some pink to it, so I'm keeping this. My Persona Jam blush. I don't get much use out of this, but I really, really want to make it work, and I do plan on doing a full face of Persona in the future, so I'm gonna keep as much Persona as I can because nothing from them I hate. I have two House Labs blushes here, this beautiful purple in the shade Lavender Blonde, and I also have Hibiscus Haze. These are gorgeous, so I want to keep these, and I just haven't gotten enough use out of them, so I really do want to make it a point to use them. My Benefit Shelly blush. I love this, and I kind of forgot it was here because it's like just stuck right here in this corner by itself and under a bunch of other blushes i'm gonna keep her because she's beautiful i love this for the spring and summer and we're coming up on it really great pigmentation not too much not too little these are very very old i've gotta say this clinique ginger pop blush loved it for so long but this is honestly probably not even good anymore actually that swatch is pretty. <laughs> this Wanderlust blush from Buxom in Mykonos. It's beautiful, but it's also not as smooth as it used to be. I don't know. It's gorgeous, but I have not touched it and it's pretty old. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. The first thing we're getting rid of. This Essence blush. It's creamy and it's buttery, but honestly, this doesn't really swatch all that great it's a very very sheer blush it's not terrible this is so old i don't know how old this is definitely bought it whenever i was working at ulta in 2021 so i'm gonna go ahead and declutter her oh man this is for mems honestly the milani rose dioro blush it doesn't even say milani anymore can powders smell bad because if it could this one probably would it's beautiful but again very old and i think they still sell this so if i really wanted it again i would just buy it again and i'm gonna go ahead and toss this i'm not even going to donate it because it's probably expired i have this mini benefit california blush this is beautiful but honestly i like shelly a lot more and it's just this small blush i think that someone else would get really good use out of it really nice and pigmented it's a little bit more of like a hot pink but when you put it on the skin it's not as aggressive as you may think a hot pink would be so i'm just gonna go ahead and declutter her oh by the way the clinique blush i think i'll keep it i know it's old but guys like that swatched so well or maybe i'll just like put it on the side i'm just gonna put it on the side and as we go if i'm not getting rid of enough I'll, I'll declutter her i have a couple of kaleidos blushes and as you can see this one still has the plastic film on it i'm pretty sure all of them do yeah they all do here oh look at that what a fun hot pink kaleidos products they're amazing and I feel like we need to use them more and talk about them more. Even though they're very bright pops of color, they're going to be a little bit more on the sheer side. Honestly, out of all of these, I think that I'm only going to keep this one because I can see myself using this one the most. Beautiful, but you guys know I don't like these shades that much on me, so I'll declutter her. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this more orangey one. It's gorgeous though. I think if I were more tan and more warm toned, this would look beautiful. This Juvia's Place Serafina blush, I wanted this so badly when I purchased it. It's such a good blush, to be honest. They have really great pigmentation on all of their products here. Oh my gosh, I forgot how beautiful that is. Maybe I'll keep that one. It's still really nice and soft and buttery, so I'm gonna actually keep that. I have a couple high-end blushes right here. I have this Tarte Amazonian Clay blush in the shade peaceful i couldn't tell you guys how old this is i don't remember the last time i bought a tarte product let alone a tarte blush i mean it's gorgeous i really think that is a beautiful wash of color but i think it's a little bit more metallic and sparkly than what i would typically go for these days so i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one the nars taos blush i think that this was one of my very first nars purchases and oh that's my forehead hello <laughs> wow this is like absolutely gorgeous why don't i ever wear this i don't think that i've ever worn this out and i've had it i swear to you guys since like probably 2018 this packaging is insanely dirty i 
hate NARS packaging when it gets dirty like this. Like, you see those scratch marks? That's just... Ugh. I hate the way this feels. I hate the way the packaging looks, but this blush is so nice. Do I want to keep it just cuz? Like you can tell there's still some of the original pressing on there. I have barely touched this thing. I'm going to hold on to it for now. I'm going to use it and see how I feel about it before I declutter it. This one I cannot get rid of because I got this I think last year. It's not old, but look guys look how much i have not used of it this is the rosewood shade i need to just go ahead and use it there's no reason why i'm not using it the only reason is because it's so small and compact which is great but it kind of got lost in the sauce in this drawer so keeping her my color pop blush in message me i picked this one up because i thought it would be a really good bronzer blush color it's a little bit like powdery as you can see right there from that swatch and it's a bit darker but you can kind of see where i was going with this right like a bronzer type of product i think i'll keep this one and when i get a little bit more tan on me during the spring summertime i'm gonna try using this as like my one and done bronzer all of these milani blush they gotta go i can't tell you guys how old they are i just kept them because i was like it's one of the very first blush collections that i feel like i have a lot of and that's not a good reason to hold on to them look i even have these milani rose blushes these are so beautiful when they first came out i was like oh my gosh i need it and look barely used are you kidding i am such a bad hoarder of makeup i used to say a collector but honestly we'll call it as it is i was a hoarder <laughs> i don't know if they swatch that well anymore oh my gosh this one is like that nars one look this one is kind of a mix between the nars taos and the ColourPop blush do they still sell these wow i'm like actually pretty tempted to just keep this milani one and get rid of the nars one so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to put these three in a pile try them all on on my cheeks and then if this works the way i want it to then i'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of both the color pop and the nars one okay the milani bake blushes i love them these are iconic truly everyone and their mother and their grandmother had these milani blushes i collected so many of course we have the og luminoso but i'm telling you guys these are so old there's no reason these should still be in my collection so i'm going to declutter all of those unfortunately and i think i'm also going to declutter this rose blush this is the romantic rose shade so all of these are gonna go these are the flower pots from flower beauty these are beautiful i actually used to use this one a lot specifically in the shade peach primrose when i was in my prime for peach blushes it is a bit light i will say like now looking back at it i'm like dang that's pretty light oh but honestly that looks nice it's a little bit more orange than peach if I really look at it i'm going to declutter these just because i feel like i have different ones newer fresher blushes that are similar to these oh a little baby milani luminoso i'm pretty sure this is actually quite new so you know what i'm gonna keep this one because i have more of a chance of finishing this baby one up and it's not going to take as much room so i can justify keeping this little guy mac peaches blush oh my goodness what good memories i don't have a ton of mac products but i remember absolutely loving this i feel like this was the very first mac product that i was like obsessed with this is a beautiful peach i think but it's very old it is so old oh i'm so embarrassed probably like 2015 or something but i feel like i kept this for the mems this is what i'll do i will throw this one away but let me put it on my face one time to see if i like the color again and if i like the color again i'll repurchase a new one I just, I can't risk it with my skin being so much more sensitive and acne prone now. I know that this would break me out if I continue to use this pan. So I'm gonna keep it to try it. And if I like it, if I don't, either way, this is getting tossed and repurchased maybe. But who knows, maybe after I go through all of my blushes, I won't even feel the need to buy another one. This is the Lori, Laura Mercier Chai blush. I actually got this when I was working at Ulta as gratis. I love this blush. It's such a subtle toned down blush i am going to keep this 
I think it's a good shade to have whenever you want a little bit of a flush on the cheeks but nothing intense again persona terracotta this is more of a bronzer to me you know i bought it thinking it was going to be way more blushy but that's like bronzer to me i don't know maybe it'll go in my bronzer category sigma blush in sunset kiss this is pretty new i actually bought this around black friday so i'm going to keep that one in my collection and then of course we have the one size trios here the cheek clapper 3d blush trios we have the shade very that and fat ass i bought these a while back i did some like reels and tiktoks and stuff on these i'm going to keep them they're really great quality and i like to keep these on hand to compare them to other cream blushes and powder blushes and stuff that come out in sephora so these are going to stay in the collection. I do not like the packaging very much on those. Okay, so we emptied out that first acrylic tray here. Good job, guys. Oh, I forgot to talk about these. I thought I lost this, and that goes to show you guys how cluttered <laughs> this drawer was. This is my Bare Minerals Blonzer in the shade Kiss of Copper. I love this. I have been thinking about this and wanting it again on my face and I just couldn't find it but this is the perfect blush bronzer on my cheeks. I love it so much. It's very much similar to this from M Cosmetics. It's the Faded Clementine blush. They give that same effect but Faded Clementine is definitely a little bit more orange while the bronzer is going to give you a little bit of a coppery shade. So I'm keeping this. I'm excited that I found her but I also have these Bare Minerals Gen Nude blushes in the shade Peachy Keen and Pink Me Up. I'm keeping these. I like these a lot actually. All right guys so that that was our very first section. I'm gonna be decluttering all of these blushes plus these Milani ones, so I'm pretty happy with that. Oh no, my arm is like kind of breaking out right now in hives, and I really hope it's not from the swatches from those. I can't imagine it's from anything else, but yeah. <laughs> okay, moving on. We have these three Juvia's Place blush palettes we have five four and six and honestly i bought these with the intention to do reels and tiktoks with because whenever juvia's place came out with their liquid blushes these were being paired with them because they're supposed to be the same shades and they're very hyped up they're very very pigmented they're almost too pigmented for me and my liking i just don't go for super bright matte pigmented blushes like that on myself these are gorgeous they're still really fairly new i got them last year so i'm actually going to go ahead and declutter them they're still pretty much in like mint condition so i'm excited for whoever gets these because they're great quality. I'm pretty sure from here on it is strictly creams. So I'm going to go ahead and just pull this guy out and we're going to work on this one. So the Milk Makeup Jelly Cooling Water Tint keeping this this is new in my collection the nude sticks nude screen love this have recently talked about this one and i actually also have this really fun product it's the apu juicy ping blusher it looks like a nail polish and i feel like that was like the selling point for me and it's an asian brand it's not super pigmented though i will t i will say that whenever you first swatch it look at that it is so gorgeous but when i tried to blend it out on my skin the first time it kind of just like disappeared like it lost all its pigmentation i think i need to just really work with it oh see it just like kind of disappears i don't even know if i can make this work i don't know if it's my skin tone or the way i was applying it but i did try with a brush i tried with my fingers i tried letting it dry down and i just don't think it works for my complexion so i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this these pixie on the glow blushes honestly you guys i fell into the hype for these and these are just not it for me i recently acquired the kaja dewy blush bars and those are so much better like worlds apart when it comes to pigmentation these are more dewy than they are pigmented on me like it looks really pigmented here but when you actually get it on the skin it almost like lifts up my concealer anything i have underneath it it's a little bit more patchy if you have any hyperpigmentation and you try to cover it with concealer it's going to lift that concealer off it's very dewy very moisturizing but for me with some of the oily skin it just doesn't really work so i'm gonna go ahead and declutter those i have this tiny little rare beauty blush it's in the shade 
grace and i think i got it with like gift with purchase or a sephora offer so i'm keeping this one i like my rare beauty blushes i've got these kaja whipped dream blushes these are really beautiful i like the texture of these they're nice and moussey like they're really fun but i don't really use these that much like when i get it on the cheeks it doesn't really give me what i'm looking for it kind of just shears out and blends out a little bit too much it almost looks like a little bit of redness on my skin though so i think i'm gonna go ahead and declutter these because i have some friends that i think would actually really love these especially because they have oily skin and they do like more matte looks when it comes to their blushes another rare beauty mini in the shade wisdom i'm gonna keep this one glossier cloud paint in the shade beam i've held on to this for so long because i've just wanted to make it work i've wanted to feature it in videos i love glossier packaging and just the concept this i feel like is an old cult favorite but for me the shade itself is just a little bit too light so i'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one and it's probably most likely expired by now these well people multi-use blush and highlights they're really nice they're very small and compact so it's great because of that it doesn't really call to me but this highlight i feel like i could use this highlight for sure i love that like really natural sheen to it so i think i'm gonna go ahead and keep the highlight and i'm going to declutter the blush just because i just don't use it lys cream blushes i got this during one of the sephora sales um during christmas because it came in a kit and i have not reached for these as much as i should i think i'm gonna go ahead and declutter this red shade it's brand new and i just know that these shades i don't like on myself because i feel like it emphasizes my hyperpigmentation so i'm gonna declutter this one and i think i'm gonna keep these give them a go again to make sure that i like them because i do like the formulation i just haven't reached for them enough i have two milk makeup lip and cheeks this is in the shade work and this is in the shade quickie these were sent to me maybe a year or two ago i love this shade i think it's beautiful but i also don't wear that shade should i even swatch this i know what happened i had one already and then they sent this to me and my other one was really old so i was like i'm gonna use this okay you know what i'm keeping this one in the shade splash and it's so similar to the shade quickie so i'm actually gonna go ahead and declutter this one these profusion blush hours i really wanted to try these whenever they were blowing up on tiktok this is in paloma and this is in cosmo these are my favorite shades out of all of the ones that i picked up i'm gonna keep these this flower beauty blush balm is so good it's in the shade cinnamon it's a little bit more on the sheer side more hydrating she is super old so i'm gonna declutter this one and the colfi mendy moment blush in the shade blessed berry this has more metallic sheen to it than i wanted it to honestly it actually wasn't my favorite and i was looking at the shade for the longest time like i was wanting this for so long and i finally got it and i'll be completely honest this is probably one of my least favorite kofi products and i love kofi and it has like some silver metallic in it which i don't really like on my skin tone so i'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one okay and then we have my nude sticks right here i told you guys and i always tell you i have a lot of these i love these i don't think i'm going to be getting rid of them but i will be swatching all of them to make sure none of them are dried out and if they are dried out i'll probably repurchase them but these are all the shades that i have pause if you want to see them okay i'm going to keep those in there but we are done with this section and i think we did a pretty good job things are rolling all over the place i'm going to grab this acrylic container now and these are all going to be liquids and creams in here i have my say do blushes in the shade sweetie and cutie i am obsessed with these shades and this formulation so i'm keeping these again keeping my persona because i'm going to do a video and because i'm obsessed obsessed with these multi sticks this is a blush and the bronzer in dune more say do blushes this is the shade rosy spicy and chilly keeping them all i have this makeup by mario blush stick in the shade earthy pink and honestly when i bought this i got the wrong shade i meant to get a completely different shade and i had never returned it i never went to go get the other one what's going on there is this expired Ooh, why is it black i don't know if it's makeup that was on there or what but 
it's giving expired so i'm gonna throw that away oh i have another say blush in the shade poppy this is probably my least favorite because it's very bright since we're going into spring and summer i may change my mind i may like this for the spring and summer maybe i will layer it with one of those fun peachy blushes like the powder ones my cl blush and protect blushes this is in the shade bahati and kirsty i really look really like these i enjoy them a lot they're not the most pigmented liquid blushes but that's sometimes a really good thing for me and they're slightly moussey and they have spf in them i know that they just added two more shades but they weren't like anything i was dying to get my hands on so i hope they expand their shades even more i have my nars afterglow liquid blush in the shade dolce vita i felt like this was really hyped up and honestly i never wear this i feel like the pigmentation just wasn't what i wanted it to be it's not that easy to blend like it's more liquidy than pigmented i think it would be great as like a layering product but for me i want something that's gonna be great to stand on its own as you can see as i'm blending it out it's just a little bit patchy and it's runny enough to again move my concealer out of place and kind of expose my hyperpigmentation so i'm actually gonna go ahead and declutter this one and i have my danessa myricks vision flush in the shade ballet slippers i don't remember how i feel about this if i'm being honest Ooh, that's really pigmented why don't i use this is it the shade wow maybe it's the pigmentation i don't know but i'm keeping this it's a little splotchy but maybe it'll apply better with a brush i have my rare beauty blushes i love all of these truly but some of them i bought when rare beauty first launched like in 2020 since they're liquids i know that they're probably bad like i know this one in the shade love was one of the first ones i picked up so i'm gonna go ahead and declutter this virtue and worth my two favorite shades keeping those these are the newest ones in my collection joy love love this shade this again i bought in 2020 but i need to get rid of her because it's old and i'm keeping these i got this one in the kit that came out this past holiday doesn't smell great Ugh, okay i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that you guys can't really see it but past this section it's just a bunch of stuff standing in the back so i'm gonna go through that i have the makeup by mario soft pop plumping blush veils i have the shade just peachy rose crush and perfect pink i think i'm gonna keep all three of these i bought these for videos and i had used them and i really liked it they just got Put in the back burner these are also nude sticks these are the glow core ones the shorter versions that have like that core in the middle and i really like these they're not as pigmented as the original ones but i still really enjoy the effect that these give like this one has a gold core and i was so excited for these when they launched last year so i'm gonna keep all three of these my armani blushes i am keeping them because not only are they gorgeous and they blend perfectly Perfectly. But also it's kind of like a keepsake because this was my first time working with Armani So I'm gonna keep those I have a bunch of Kaleidos highlighters and I love their highlighters So i'm not gonna get rid of these. I think I have all of them actually like some of them are in my pr drawer Oh my gosh, this nars liquid blush in the shade torrid. Look how separated that is. This is like definitely a pre-2016 purchase <laughs> so i'm gonna throw her away i just never wanted to because it's so expensive look at that i didn't even use it so i basically wasted the money there. these winky Lux bronzers and blushes i talked about these in a recent drugstore try on video and i really like these these are great liquid bronzers and this is a beautiful liquid blush these dry down so well and they last forever on the cheeks more of my persona multi sticks here are the shades that i have I love these. Again, I'm going to keep these in my collection. All of the e.l.f. blushes, the camo liquid blushes that I obsessed over when they first launched like a couple weeks back. I'm keeping all of those because I still use them. Suave Mauve is definitely my favorite out of all of these. It's this shade right here. So beautiful. Go watch my video on these if you're curious. I was recently sent these from Bloom Effects. They're tulip tints and they're so beautiful. They're a little bit less pigmented and they remind me of the glossier cloud paints because of the packaging here and they are a little bit more sheer so they kind of come out like a moussey texture like the glossier ones except i feel like these 
are a little bit more pigmented and I also feel like it dries down a little faster than the glossy paints the cloud paints do and I think they would be perfect for a very light natural makeup look so I'm gonna keep these because I want to make sure I give them a really good go the rare beauty blush and glow I'm keeping these I kept it in this packaging just because it was easier the tower 28 and kung fu panda collaboration I'm keeping these I love these uh here I have the Danessa Myricks yummy skin cream blushes i don't know why i don't use these that much but i need to i really do this is in the shade rose and brunch and then i have the shade jubilee these are so pigmented they have the same formulation as her yummy skin blurring balm and they last really long on the cheeks gonna keep them and i'm gonna put them in the front of my drawer i bought more of the profusion blushes i think i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of sangria i'm finding that these berry tones i just am not really into anymore and i feel like they look splotchy on me and the shade bellini has a lot of promise that's really pretty i wonder if this will look too like orangey i'll try it i'm gonna keep this one i have my pat mcgrath blushes that i bought the very first time that i made a pat mcgrath order during their black friday sale like two years ago i'll be honest i haven't even really used these but i spent some good money on it i think i'm gonna keep these and try to use them man this declutter is not going that well i feel like i'm not getting rid of anything the juvia's place liquid blushes like i said these went super viral and they're so pigmented they recently came out with shimmer ones which i'm like kind of interested in because one of the things about these is that they're really highly pigmented and they dry down but they are very matte on the skin so i don't know i love the colors though i'm gonna keep these because i I feel like i could create some really fun content with these still so keeping them for now but i have a feeling i'm gonna end up like decluttering some of them like these darker shades just because on my skin i feel like they're a little bit too much on on my skin tone for what i like i have the fenty double cheeked uh, blushes these are so beautiful like Oh, look at that. So nice. I do really like this formulation. That would be a really pretty ombre look, wouldn't it? I'm going to keep this and I'm going to try that out. I feel like that's going to be really pretty. Why haven't I done it? I don't know. I'm not doing too great on the liquid and cream blush category, guys. I'm like barely getting rid of anything, but these I think I will get rid of just because they're very old. These I think I've had since I want to say 2018, 2019. And this blush right here, I want to say was one of my favorite very first favorite cream blushes this shade in rosewood oh my gosh i can't even believe that i never hit pan on this this is a gorgeous kind of taupey rosy color like look how beautiful oh my gosh that's beautiful do they still sell this i need to get rid of this because again it's quite old it's definitely expired but this color oof gorgeous we're gonna go ahead and toss these i think this is my only milani cheek kiss blush this is in the shade nude kiss and oh that was really dry <laughs> i think it like has a film on it i don't think this is that old so i think i might just keep that how beautiful i have another little rare beauty hiding out here this is in the shade truth i'm gonna keep that and i'll tell you guys right now i'm pretty sure i'm keeping this entire thing because i reach for these constantly so this is my little fenty beauty cream blush in the shade daiquiri dip my one and only about face cheek freak in the shade raunchy this is a gorgeous gorgeous peach shade and of course all of my tower 28 beach please lip and cheek tints and my rose ink cream blushes i've talked about these in videos and i love this formulation so much it lasts so long even with oily skin so i'm keeping this whole set right here Ooh, and lastly in the blush category we have all of these my one m cosmetics cream blush this is in the shade milk tea i love this it's such a muted kind of beigey blush and it goes on perfectly it's very similar to the persona cosmetics blush sticks and i love it my lottie london cream blush this this is the black one it looks crazy but it's because i like dipped my brush in there with foundation on my skin but i love the ph leveling of this like i really like the way this looks on my cheeks so i'm keeping that i have this morphe 2 cheek and lip mousse this is super old i think it's like 2020 so i'm gonna throw that away i don't even reach for it honestly another lottie london 
pH leveling blush. I actually meant to use this in a video and never did. I wanted to see if it was similar to the potted one or if it was like the same thing. Looks like it might be the same thing though, guys, except in like a stick form. Um, it looks less nasty than the other one. So I'm gonna give this to someone else. And this was part of their Vampire Diaries collection. And I have all of my Merit blushes, which I'm keeping. I love my Merit blushes. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. My favorites are the shade Fox right here. I've talked about that one in a video. The shade Cheeky, that was one of the OG colors. We can get rid of this one in a prey because the berry tone. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one. But that's like the majority of the blushes. I think we did a great job there. I do have some of these Kaja cheek stamps. I have the shade Koi and Saucy and I just love the novelty of these. Like how cute is that heart sponge? Are you kidding? It's so nice. I like these for a very toned down cheek and it's very very hydrating so it's nice whenever i want something like really subtle so i'm gonna keep these two i think these are the last of the blushes and they're all of my elf putty blushes i don't even know if i've worn all of these to be honest i just i bought them all at the same time meaning to do a whole video and i just never did which is horrible on my part but i don't reach for these that often there's only a couple that i really use but i'm gonna go ahead and declutter the majority of these because again they are quite old because i bought these when they first launched and they're still the same pots Ooh, these are so dry i'm just gonna go ahead and declutter these these are great formulations i don't know why i personally just never tried all of the shades but loss on my part these are incredible for the value the formulations are really good and you have a better chance of finishing up these creams than like other ones like liquid blushes you know because they're old and because i know me and i'm not going to use them i'm just going to go ahead and get rid of them and if i really want them again then i'll just purchase the shades i want all right so i'm pretty sure now we have all of the bronzers and the highlights with the exception of these because they're trios but these are the kaja bento play bentos in the shade dolce cappuccino and cloud latte i love these bronzers these cream bronzers in here that's the main reason why i keep these like i don't even really touch the highlight or the powder blush here to be honest i keep these around because the cream bronzers are some of my absolute favorite they are nice and creamy they're a little bit tacky so they stay on the cheeks really well but they set down so they're not like sticky they're so good i need to just like use this entire bento but keeping those so while i don't use the blushes i do like this bronzer from elf i really enjoy this one i haven't used it in quite a while because i got caught up with my other cream bronzers but I'm gonna keep it and start using this again because it's so good. Tower 28 Sculptino, love this to death. This is in the shade Getty. Amazing, slightly contouring, but mostly bronzing. My wands, I'm gonna get rid of these. This Glossier one is so old, this solar paint in the shade Heat. And I haven't touched this, it's most likely expired. I'm gonna toss it. This Tarte Sculpt Tape in the shade Warm Bronze. I'm gonna keep this one. It's not that old, honestly. And I need to try this again. I don't remember how I felt about it the flower beauty low light liquid contour in the shade medium i used a good chunk of this i know that like people either liked it a lot or just didn't like it at all because they had trouble blending it i never found an issue with it i really enjoyed this so i'm gonna keep this and try to use it again i bought this kosas concealer in the shade 8.7 n in hopes to use it as like a contour bronzer i don't remember how i felt about it so i'm gonna keep it my oma beauty double take sculpt and strobe stick in the shade three honey honey i loved this contour it was so good i never used the highlight i felt like it was a little too yellow for my skin tone this bronzer oh my gosh it's so good it goes on really really pigmented but it actually blends out like a dream this is such a good product i remember this was like my number one product when i started working at ulta because we had to go around the room and say like what's your favorite makeup product and i said this it's so good so many good memories but it is very old so 
I'm going to go ahead and get rid of her. I loved it. It served me well. I'm going to throw it away because this is like three, four, I think going on five years old now. My Fenty Matchstick in the shade Amber Suede. I got this, I want to say last year because I saw someone use it in a video and I was like, oh, it looks so good. And on me, it did not give the way it gave on that girl. Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Enhancer. I don't even know how to say anything. Holy grail. My Say Glow Sculpt Peach Glow. This took me a while to get into, but I love this. I think it's a beautiful blush highlight type of product. So pigmented and gives you such a beautiful glow with no glitter. Charlotte Tilbury Cream Bronzer, keeping that. These are fairly new. I got these during, I think, Black Friday sales. This is the Give Beauty feeling cheeky blush duos i have the shades stars aligned gorgeous and the shade crush on you so i'm gonna keep both this merit stick in the shade leo this is probably one of my least favorite products from merit this one is just not pigmented enough and when you blend it out it's a little bit too gel textured for me it just kind of disappears and yeah it doesn't do much for me so i'm gonna declutter that my lys contour stick i talked about this in the video where I talk about changing my mind on makeup products. This one I think is just a little too dark for me. This is in the shade Courage. I thought it was going to work out, but honestly, it's so deep for my skin tone and it takes a lot of work to blend in. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. I don't think it's a formula thing. I think that I just chose the wrong shade for myself. The Rose Ink Bronzer in Seashells. This is the Cream Bronzer. I don't like this packaging. I think it's too bulky. When when I used it, I was not impressed as you, oh, do you hear that? She is dry. Oh my gosh, that sucks. Maybe it's just that top layer. I don't know, but I wasn't impressed by this formula. It was kind of hard to blend. Right there, it looks pretty good, but that was with my finger. If I use like a brush with it, it was kind of patchy. I think this is gonna have to go. I don't know, that swatch really nice though. I'm gonna go ahead and declutter that one. Kaleido Symphony Contour Trio. This is the medium shade. I really like this for sculpting, so I'm gonna keep that. The Say Cream Bronzer. Uh, this is the sun melt one in the shade medium bronze. I'm actually gonna go ahead and declutter this It's a good bronzer But if you have other products underneath like too many products underneath like say you have color corrector foundation concealer and then this it kind of smears it around so I think this would be better to use as like a no makeup makeup day look but for me it's a little too much effort so i'm gonna get rid of this one the huda beauty tantor cream bronzer in the shade medium this one way too dark for my skin tone even though it's medium and it's kind of hard to blend so i'm gonna declutter that danessa myrick's medium two it is too warm for what i like on my skin like a little too olive leaning a little too yellowish so gonna declutter that fenty beauty cream in the shade macchiato i use this so much i'm probably gonna hit pan on this pretty soon should i keep it and just like hit pan i think i will it's definitely old but i'm gonna test it out and if it's okay to wear on my skin i'll do that i have another well people multi stick in the bronzer that feels kind of hard and it is quite red i think i will declutter her milani cheek kiss bronzer this is the spicy season shade again i talked about this recently i like the shade under this i think it's called spilling tea that one is a lot better of a match for my skin but i'm gonna keep this around for the summertime because i like this formula this is the phytosurgeons bronzer Oh no, it's cracked. This is in the shade 7 Golden Heat Wave. Oh my gosh, it's not even... Is it that old? This is maybe like a little less than a year old. Wow, that is so dry. It's okay, I'm gonna go ahead and declutter it. I felt like it was a little bit tuggy on the skin anyways, even when it was fresh. I don't know, it just wasn't my favorite formula so i'm gonna go ahead and toss her Ooh, i have this mango people bronzer stick in the shade dune now this is a new one because i had gotten one previously and i think that it was like damaged or something and they were nice enough to send me a replacement of it 
so i'm gonna keep that my morphe bronzer oh my gosh i used this so much i don't think they sell this anymore this is the glam bronze in the shade originator such a good bronzer this got me through all my bronzing needs when I was using it back in the day. Look at that color. I need to get another bronzer this shade. It's really old and I don't reach for it anymore. And I'm gonna try to either find the same shade in another bronzer, but this one is gonna have to be thrown away because it's very old. Makeup by Mario, medium dark, soft sculpt bronzing stick. This thing, oh my gosh, it's so old. Does this even wind up anymore? It's like coming apart. Wait, what am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? I think I I think I just broke it. Huh, that's weird. It's okay. I was on the fence about keeping this because I really like this, but it's super old. I think I bought this whenever Makeup by Mario first came out, and I used this to death, but I don't reach for it anymore. But now that it's broken, I'm just gonna throw it away. <laughs> the e.l.f. Halo Glow Contour Wand in the shade Medium Tan. I liked this. I did really enjoy whoa that is so messy i did enjoy this formula more than the blushes but i'll tell you this thing gets super messy my mac bronzing powder in the shade golden i don't even know how old this is <laughs> oh it's not even swatching it has such a hard pan now so tossing that the makeup by mario bronzer in the shade medium dark i'm gonna keep this this is a fairly new one in my collection these are highlighters we'll go over that in a little bit the kvd gel contour bronzer thing um i liked this when it first came out i have the shade medium tan and it's a lot of work to be honest if you have oily skin it will slip and slide because of that jelly texture i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one because i just don't reach for it and it's not always consistent when you use it like it's a little bit more difficult to blend in this is a little mini laguna bronzer i'm gonna keep it i think i got rid of my oh i lied it's right here i was gonna say i think i got rid of my full size laguna i did not it's right here but you know what i'm just gonna keep this mini and toss this big one because this big one is very very old and i know this is a brand new one it looks a little different doesn't it maybe it's just because this one is like older and oxidized but i don't need to keep this old pan and it's very very big and i don't even really use this so if i ever want a little laguna fix then i'll just use this baby have this makeup by mario self sculpt transforming skin perfector in the shade medium dark i got this the same time that i got the cream and honestly i never reach for this i wasn't a big fan of it in the first place so i'm gonna go ahead and declutter that i'm gonna keep this house labs bronzer i want to play around with it a little bit more it does have a little shimmer which is nice this is the medium level seven my l'oreal infallible bronzer in the shade medium i'm gonna keep this one i really Really like this formula i have this these two kind of like for memories i feel like i was using these a lot when i was like starting youtube so it's a little bit sentimental for me but honestly i think i'll go ahead and get rid of these this is the make a forever bronzer and the becca bronzer r.i.p becca honestly <laughs> the urban decay beach bronzer i forgot i had this and i remember really liking this so why don't i use this i'm going to put this back into my rotation mac give me sun oh my gosh i forgot about this loved this it's definitely more of a warm tone bronzer desi perkins if you guys know you know I'm keeping this and I'm gonna start using it again. Fenty Sunstalker in the shade Island Ting. You know, this was kind of hard to work with, I'm not gonna lie. It's not the easiest to blend out and especially on the cheeks, I think maybe because it is quite dark for me. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and declutter this. I got a lot of use out of this. I used it for years and I think it's time to let it go. The One Size Trio, it's the Bronze and Sculpt Trio in the shade Medium. This was really hard for me to work with. I don't no, i could be the only one but i was not a fan of these i felt like they were really hard to blend they're super pigmented which is not a bad thing but they're just really difficult for me to blend out i don't know what it was and every time i would wear it i just felt like it looked really muddy on me these swatches look great <laughs> but i have used this enough times to know it does not go onto my skin the way that it does as a swatch so i'm gonna pass this along oh my patrick ta she's bronze cream contour and powder duo 
forgot I had this clearly you know I have been wanting a really really good bronzer to use and I think I'm just gonna dip back into what I have truly so I'm gonna keep this one I feel like this has a lot of potential the powder is a little bit hard but I think I can still work with it I have another one of the Kaleidos sculpt contour trios this is in the shade tan i'm gonna keep this one and the juvia's place bronzer in the shade tan as well i'm gonna keep this one i think this is a really good drugstore bronzer all right so those were the bronzers and lastly we have highlights this is taking such a long time guys we're almost like on hour two but we're getting there so this should be fairly easy i have these judy doll ones i did a little reel on these they are very similar to the fenty beauty diamond bomb but i'm gonna keep these i actually really really enjoy them and they don't take a lot of space i need to just take them out of this container i never even opened these these are from what's up beauty i never used these and i and i really should these are from the brand what's up beauty they have beautiful eyeshadows they have great powders and look at that packaging like are you kidding how absolutely gorgeous is that this is the shade sunset safari look at that embossing do i need to use this i think i do maybe i'll only keep one let's see i'm gonna keep this one the more champagne one this is in sunset safari and i'm gonna go ahead and pass this one along i recently got these and talked about both of them the sephora highlights and the baked revolution ones i like both of these so much they go on top of blush really well so i'm keeping those my highlight wands the charlotte tilbury one so good but i'm telling you guys this is so old i think it's like 2019 again and i got pretty much all the use i could out of this so I'm gonna toss that she's old and if i want it again i'll get it but i haven't touched this in so long my beauty pie luminizer wand this is a dupe for the charlotte tilbury one it's amazing i got this when i did a partnership with beauty pie and i loved this thing it's so good i think this is the reason why i stopped using the charlotte tilbury one to be honest but again it's super old so i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it and the flower beauty spotlight one in the shade opal i'm gonna keep this actually this is not super old i want to say it's maybe a year old and it's still usable so i'm gonna keep that i am gonna get rid of the elf one because this one's a little too gold like it has too much gold glitter in it for me the color pop oh my gosh in lunch money how old are you actually you know what i don't think it's that old oh <gasps> wow how beautiful is that i think i got this while i worked at ulta yeah i'm keeping that and i'm using that rare beauty exhilarate highlighter gosh i waited so long for this to come back in stock i'm keeping that i'm pretty sure i got these at like a cco cosmetic company store like close to town i want to keep these because i feel like these are going to make a comeback come spring and summertime so i'm going to hold on to those i will get rid of this ofra one this is super old it's in rodeo drive this hard candy one oh my gosh do you guys remember this one in the shade tiki how iconic this was everyone had it everyone wanted it and i used the crap out of this thing it's beautiful it's like the type of highlight that everyone wants now where it's just a sheen a shimmer do they still sell this if they do i'm gonna pick up a new one but this i want to say is closer to like eight years old <laughs> so i'm gonna throw this one away oh this wet n wild illuminator in the shade precious petals that is so pretty and i don't think i've ever used this before Ooh, that would be a beautiful blush topper so i'm gonna keep it okay you guys know i had to when i found this at a cco this is heat wave from essay lauder i'm keeping it because this one just feels wrong to throw away and i feel like i again will use this in the summer oh i actually really love to use this on my body this victoria beckham essay lauder collaboration before there was a victoria beckham makeup line this is in the shade modern mercury i'm absolutely obsessed with this i love using this as an eyeshadow too oh my gosh i need to i need to use this again i'm actually wanting to put this on right now laura geller gilded honey do you guys remember this Oh, oh my goodness. This was like on the same level of Estee Lauder heat wave for me. She is old. She has lived her life and it's time. 
it's time for this to go i loved this so much it doesn't look like i did but i used to use this so <laughs> so much but i think i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this essence pure nude they still sell this but i think this is like old packaging this is in the original be my highlight beautiful just sheen type of product very old i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it and probably pick up a new one if i feel like i need a new one i doubt i will though fenty how many carrots keeping this i love this especially for the body anastasia Emrezi, you guys i can't get rid of this oh when i tell you this was my highlight like this i could not live without this I do like to dip back in i i won't lie it's still buttery smooth it is perfect some of my favorite photos that i have of myself back in the day like when i did makeup looks i was wearing this <laughs> we're getting into nostalgia here guys <laughs> my becca highlighters i held on to these because goodbye becca look how disgusting my opal is i can't i can't oh <gasps> she's broken that actually really broke my heart just now <laughs> that one that one hurt me i need to get rid of this smashbox sells opal anyways or no do they sell opal or do they only sell champagne pop speaking of champagne pop hello beautiful are you broken oh this one's still intact i remember buying this i remember going to ulta and going specifically to buy this one. Oh, i loved this so so much this had a chokehold on everyone these opal and champagne pop they were like a time in makeup history you know what i mean but i'm gonna have to go ahead and get rid of these they're just so old and used and again they serve their purpose and good memories for sure oh and this blush oh no this is opal oh my gosh i have a baby opal oh this is the cream holy crap guys this cream <gasps> so moussey do you see that i used to love i used to bathe in this crap oh can they please bring this back can someone please revive becca because i'm telling you guys you would do so well in the market now <laughs> my house labs highlight in the shade moonstone i don't want to get rid of this even though i'm not gonna touch it i feel like this is something really beautiful to keep and i just love the packaging i love the shift to it and this was my first like pr from house Labs, so i can't get rid of her i'm gonna keep this this makeup by mario highlight this was like just the clear yeah this was the clear bomb i don't know why i kept this it's literally just a clear bomb and i never reach for it this is nostalgia guys i kept these because these are collabs like i love sarai's collab and we also have desi and katie with dose of colors i'm gonna keep those because i love them still i don't use them but i will keep them oh my gosh i have my alchemist palette from kvd when it was kat von d i think i loved this this was like my first intro to duochromes oh my goodness i remember doing a look on youtube like one of my first looks on youtube was with this one look how beautiful i feel like there are so many indie brands now though that like come out with stuff like this so i'm gonna declutter this because it's so old almost there guys wet n wild gold bar do you remember this this was a really popular highlight as well but again i'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of it because i don't touch it my hourglass highlight stick this is in champagne flash i used so much of this it's such a good highlight stick it still is but i just i never touch it and again this is for sure expired so this has got to be tossed fenty beauty trophy wife i actually got this as gratis from ulta when i worked there and i want to keep it for that reason oh i have another kaleidos highlight here this lottie london diamond bounce in the shade rose gold i thought this was so beautiful it still really is it's a beautiful beautiful shade it's more of a more of a glitter honestly there's not much pigment to it which is fine because it is a highlight but in saying that i feel like i'm just never really going to use this so i'm going to go ahead and toss that i have two florisis highlights i have quartz glow and i have amber glow and these are not that old and i'm going to keep them and i mean do you see them look how beautiful these are i have barely touched these i need to again put these at the front of my drawer so i use them and lastly guys we have two palettes here one i'm going to keep and one 
one I'm gonna toss. <laughs> Can you guess which one? So I'm going to keep the Hourglass one. I love this Elephant palette. This is by far my favorite unlocked palette from them. It's gorgeous, it's beautiful. All of these shades are wearable for me. And I'm gonna get rid of this NARS one. I felt like the quality of this was just not it. I've had this for years and it's definitely, like you could see here, they're definitely old and expired and ready to go. Oh, I'm sorry, I have one more thing at the very back. This Anastasia Glow Kit. And if there was any one palette that I reached for, it was this guy. And again, I'm not keeping a lot of memory type of products, but this one I'm going to keep as a memory, even though you can probably find this at like Marshalls and TJ Maxx and stuff. All right, everybody. So that was the entire declutter for my blushes, bronzers, and highlights. I hope that you enjoyed it. Hopefully I did a good job. I'm filming this before I actually do the declutter. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. And as always, if you like this video and you found it helpful, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this one. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.